Hi, I'm David with SwimmingPoolLearning.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your pool to a saltwater pool. And I'll go over some steps to add the salt and to check the salt level in the pool. The first thing you want to do is make sure you know your pool size, how many gallons of water is in your pool, so you don't add too much salt or too little salt to the pool. Of course, you're going to need to have a saltwater generator installed at your pool for this process to work, to convert over to a saltwater pool. You can't just put salt in your pool and expect it to generate chlorine. And it's really important to know how many gallons of water are in your pool. This is one factor when you're going to purchase a salt water generator, a salt system. You wanna make sure you're buying a salt water system that's big enough for your pool. You also wanna calculate the gallons of water so you know how much salt to add to your pool. And it's hard to get the exact amount of water in the pool, but you can get within probably about a thousand gallons, plus or minus, by using different formulas. You can also use online calculators to calculate the size of your pool, but here's just the basic formula that you can use to kind of calculate how many gallons of water in your pool. You want to add the depth of the shallow and deep end and divide it by two, and then you want to times the length by the width, by the depth, and that equals the volume, and then the volume you're going to times 7.48, which is the volume in one gallon of water. And if you have an attached spa, you also want to calculate how many gallons of water are in the spa. This will be added to the total volume of the pool, so it's important to calculate the volume of the spa also. And every salt system is different, but most will require at least 3,000 parts per million of salt in the water to operate. You want to get a salinity reading before you add the salt. You can see that this pool here is at 0.21, so there's really no salt in the water. Okay, now you want to make sure that you turn your salt system off. We're going to leave it off until the salt level gets to 3,000 parts per million. Then I'll go ahead and turn it on. Refer to your owner's manual on how to turn off your salt system. Okay, the next step to get the pool ready to add the salt is to turn the pool on and let it run for 24 hours. So if you have an automated system, go ahead and put it in service mode. And then make sure you take it out of service mode after 24 hours. If you have a standard intermatic timer for your pool, you can just simply take the on-off trippers off the timer and then turn it on. And this will run the pump for 24 hours. You also want to make sure the pool water is balanced before you start the process. You can see that the pH and alkalinity are a little high. I'm going to go ahead and add some acid to bring that down. And for a salt water pool, you want the cyanuric acid level or conditioner level to be at 80 parts per million. And if your conditioner or cyanuric acid level is low, I like raising it up with instant pool conditioner. To me, this is the safest way to add conditioner to your pool. It's in a liquid form, so you would just pour it directly into the pool. It's also pH neutral. Okay, now we're going to calculate how much salt to add to the pool based on how many gallons of water are in the pool. You can refer to the back of the bag of salt to see how much salt you should add. Note how many parts per million that the bag indicates you're going to raise it to. This one here is 3,500 parts per million. I'm not going to raise it that high in this pool. The pool is about 14,000 gallons, so it calls for 11 bags to get it to that level. I'm going to go ahead and add about 7 bags of salt. And I've used all different kinds of salt. Just make sure that it's pool salt and that it's 99% pure. Okay, you want to open the bag and you want to pour it along the perimeter of the pool. After 24 hours, you want to go ahead and check the salt level in the pool. So the salinity level at this pool after I added the salt is coming in at 2.79 or 2800 parts per million. This is how this meter translates it. So this pool is a little bit low. I'm going to go ahead and add maybe one more bag of salt to bring it up to 3000 parts per million. Again, you don't want to add too much salt. You'd rather add too little than too much. And once the salt level is at the appropriate level for your system, go ahead and turn it on. Now your salt water generator will start making chlorine for your pool. And one caution, if you just had your pool replastered, or it's a brand new pool, you want to wait about one to two months before adding the salt so that the plaster cure. If this caution is only for plaster pools, if you have a fiberglass pool, a vinyl pool, or a pebble tech pool that's been newly built, there's no need to wait 30 to 60 days to add the salt and start the salt water generator. But the process to convert your pool to a saltwater pool is pretty simple. Go ahead and have a saltwater generator installed. Calculate how many gallons are in the pool. Add the proper amount of salt to the pool based on the amount of gallons of the pool. And then you want to check the salt level to make sure it's at the proper level for your system with a digital salinity tester. And of course some of these saltwater systems have a salinity sensor built in and they'll display the amount of salt in the water for you. And if you follow these steps, your salt water generator will have no problem converting the salt in the pool into chlorine. And then there'll be no need to buy chlorine for your pool or to shock your pool. And that's one of the great benefits of converting your pool to a salt water pool. 
Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's Referral Program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.